वर्णिवेशरमणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिरादनाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनम विचित धर्मनंदनम विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज ने जय अवर सुप्रीम ऑल माइटी बिलौट घनश्याम महाराज पाथ में कठोर लिब्रेशन पूज्य पाद गुरु जी नॉल ऑफ यूडियो टीज जय स्वामी नारायण We have celebrated Muktanand Swami's birthday on 2nd January. It is not considered according to the English calendar, but according to Indian calendar, Swami's birthday was on that day. So today we are going to listen and recite something about Muktanand Swami's life. We know Muktanand Swami is a very prominent and very senior most saint of bhagwan swami nar or we can say like he is the uh he is the uh, he is like the foundation of the swami nar sampraday and because of that we can find a uh, maximum question in the vachanamrut asked by muktanand swami not only that but even maharaj had performed his charitra um we can say more than the other uh, maharaj had performed charitra with the other saints but not like that of muktanand swami meaning he had performed too much charitras with muktanand swami because muktanand swami's saintliness we can say sadhuta is at such a level that maharaj himself understood him as his own form and uh, that is why maharaj himself says muktanand swami as a satsang ni ma meaning the mother of the whole satsang mother of everyone who is called as satsangi so let we see inside muktanand swami's life because um we can find uh, we can see only very very little things from the muktanand swami's life because his life is like an ocean and in reality in today's world we can say the scientists they can learn they can um uh invent or they they can found many many things from the surface of moon and mars but they are still unaware regarding many many things which is resides which is happen inside the ocean so muktanand swami's life is also like that of ocean no one can measure it no one can compare it no one can uh, say like i have understood i have uh, find everything inside the ocean no one can say like this in the same way no one can say like i have come Uh, i have learned muktanand swami's life or i have comprehended his life totally no one can say like this and that is why we today are going to listen something about muktanand swami's life first one is uh, muktanand swami's uh, some of his divine virtues his saintliness um in the scriptures in the vachanamrut and many other scriptures even in satsangi jivan and in shrimad bhagavat there were many uh, characteristics of the saints described in detail and even puja guru ji had narrated many times during his katha the very characteristics described in the satsangi jivan so there were thousands of such uh, divine virtues resides in muktanand swami's life through many incidents but today we are going to listen uh, very few incidents and one of them is his foremost virtue of dasatva that is servitude so the question arises 
one who is very great who is considered as the greatest among all one who is considered as the senior most among all how is it possible for that person to remain humble even more than the others but here in the case of muktanand swami that's happened why because he had acquired these virtues in his life naturally not because of his uh, endeavor or not because of someone has given him these virtues but he is descended from the aksharam and that's why maharaj desire maharaj himself wishes to show all this saintliness through muktanand swami's life and that is why we have today muktanand swami's virtuous life and many life incidents uh which give us really a uh, motivation to live according to satsang's rules and regulations as well as to follow sri ji maharaj's agnya and uh follow satsang rules and just as many other virtues in muktanand swami's life this dasatva meaning the servitude uh that is rare in the others because when someone who had acquired more and more virtues in one's life then if that person is word, a worldly person meaning not descended from the aksharam or he is not attached himself with the uh, someone who is descended from aksharam or who is sented from aksharam for us on this earth so if we attach with that person then and then we can remain aloof from the uh all from the very silent uh bad things in our life that is ego very silent vices <clears throat> because one who is virtuous that person cannot understand his own ego and in the life of muktanand swami that is not at least uh not a very fraction of ego in his life and many incidents which reveal us the very dasatva from the muktanand swami's life once even the muktanand swami was known as sri ji maharaj's guru instead uh, sri ji maharaj uh, was free to say anything to him because of his dasatva meaning his uh, natural and very straight forward nature so maharaj once uh during the sabha even whenever the other saints all the senior as well as well as junior santos they were present not only that but even the uh, many thousands of devotees were there and at the time maharaj himself scolded muktanand swami without any reason without any of his fault maharaj scolded him and even maharaj himself says in in the vachanamrut like um i myself every day give thought meaning prasadi to muktanand swami but not on the day when i scolded him why because Muk- maharaj said uh, muktanand swami did not need to uh, need to uh, need to give him such a treatment by giving him prasad or something otherwise maharaj's nature was that whenever he scolded any other santo or devotee then on that day or the next day he gave him any of his prasadi any things or prasadi from his thought so that that saint or devotee they become pleased they, they become happy but in the case of muktanand swami sri ji maharaj himself he thought like muktanand swami didn't have any need to give any prasadi or something because muktanand swami has understanding muktanand swami has a epitome of understanding by which he himself understood sri ji maharaj's glory as it is and because of that he never think anything uh, wrong or anything ill of sri ji maharaj and that day maharaj himself scolded muktanand swami in the presence of many other santos and devotees but muktanand swami didn't have any problem 
any doubt in his mind or in his heart nothing happened to him because he understood this is a supreme personality this is bhagwan himself and because of that nothing happened to muktanand swami uh, after finishing the assembly all the santos and all the devotees they were engaged in their work some engaging in singing kirtan some engaging in doing seva some engaging uh, in reading the scriptures some engaging in uh, writing the scriptures in this way all the santos and all the other devotees they were uh, uh, doing their seva doing their work and maharaj he himself went to his uh, home in aksarodi in garda now after some times maharaj sent one of his parsad to show where is muktanand swami and what he is doing so the parsad went and he came back and he replied maharaj muktanand swami is uh, doing a seva a kind of seva then maharaj asked him what kind of seva then the parsad uh, described maharaj muktanand swami was sifting a uh, dust with very fine clothes then maharaj said now you go again and ask him why he was doing that seva why he was doing that stuff then the parsad again went to muktanand swami he asked him then muktanand swami said i was sifting this dust from this extremely fine clothes so that i can uh, get this extremely fine dust because at that time uh, at that time uh there there was uh there was no any particular kind of detergent or uh hand soap or nothing else so everyone after using bathroom the people use a uh, dust for washing their hands and for that purpose muktanand swami making an extremely fine dust so that maharaj uh very delicate hands will not get any hurt from the small pebbles or so, small stones or sand from the dust and because of that muktanand swami was doing that then when the parsad came and uh, replied maharaj uh, like muktanand swami was doing this because your heart, your hands will not get any kind of like hurt or something scratch or that things and then maharaj uh explain muktanand swami's glory in the sabha like even though i have scolded him without having any of his fault and still he was the next hour he was doing this kind of seva for me why because he has such kind of understanding in his life that even though without at without having any fault even though sri ji maharaj scolded me then nothing happened to me why because he is the supreme bhagwan he is the lord of lords and uh, i have to do everything to please him and because of this understanding muktanand swami was doing that seva so after narrating this incident during the sabha sri ji maharaj himself explained muktanand swami's glory to the others as well as he said to everyone like i wish myself to make you everyone like that of muktanand swami because if everyone's understanding become like that of muktanand swami then i i will not need to give prasadi to any other santos and devotees even sometimes i myself fear to say something to some devotees and saints because if i said something like that in harsh words then in strong words then that devotee or saint might be deviated from the path of satsang but if they have the understanding like that of muktanand swami then i do not worry to say anything to any person any duty or any saints so this is the very foremost virtues of muktanand swami like his understanding his nature of servitude his nature of dasatva and that is why even though he he was the were senior meaning senior most saints in the sampraday even he was known as sri ji maharaj guru himself still he was remain very very humble he lived his whole life 
while remaining very 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 humble and muktanand swami is our adi guru meaning he is our first guru in our guru parampara so we have to acquire his divine qualities in our life so that maharaj would become pleased upon us because sri ji maharaj had uh, given us the chance to have a this this to become a disciple in muktanand swami's lineage why sri ji maharaj gave us this chance because he wanted maharaj wants from us to have the same qualities like that like that of muktanand swami even though puja guru ji or any santo scolded us without having any fault or if we have make any mistake whatever the reason but if any time any santo or puja guru ji say any strong words amongst everyone but if we remember this muktanand swami's incident then in our real life we also get inspiration from muktanand swami's life and by remembering his divine virtues we can also remain humble and fold at our hands in front of puja guru ji and saints and the other devotees so if we have these virtues then maharaj puja guru ji all the santos and devotees they would become extremely pleased upon us and on this path of spirituality on this path of aksardham we cannot do anything else without the rajipo of maharaj and his ekantik satpurush and we need his rajipo and if we want that then we have to do this we have to become humble we have to respect everyone we have to keep such kind of understanding by which we cannot deviate from the satsang the another virtues from muktanand swami's life the incident which gave him the title of satsang nima the mother of all when sri ji maharaj himself manifested on this earth as a human then at the time sri ji maharaj changed one after one rules for the saints and all those santos they were also remain ready every time to follow the new rules prescribed by maharaj so according to one rules sri ji maharaj had denied to uh, deny for the santo to eat twice in a day so santo had to die uh, had to eat only once a day so that is the rules and everyone had to follow it but once muktanand swami he was staying far from the maharaj and at the time uh, maharaj gave muktanand swami many santos so that uh, the very junior santos so that they have also chance to while serving muktanand swami they have a chance to imbibe muktanand swami saintly qualities in their lives and because of that reason sri ji maharaj sended those santos uh, to stay with muktanand swami so once all of those santos they were studying the day and night and also they were like preaching the devotees also the non devotees and they were have to do traveling and everything but they have also to follow sri ji maharaj rules the new rules to eat only once in a day once this uh, this santos they were like become very hungry at night because they were studying they were reading their books at night for the late night so they become very hungry at night time and that's the rules not to eat again so what to do but some of santos they went to the kitchen and they found something like rotlo and something there so they sat down in a row with their wooden bowl and some santos they were serving them and they were eating so that was the time uh, that was late night so muktanand swami because of his old age he was sleeping but 
because he listened some noises in the kitchen so he woke up and he found some santos waiting so he himself got up from his bed and he himself walked towards the kitchen the all the santos they were those who were eating they were become very fearful because of muktan swami's coming and muktan swami he was standing in front of them so they stopped to eat and they were watching muktan swami like standing in front of them but muktan swami got the time and he himself said santo i cannot get sleep because i become very hungry so if you have anything remain so please give me i become very hungry in actually muktan swami didn't got hungry but only to satisfy the santo muktan swami himself says i became hungry then all the santos those who become uh, like fearful from muktan swami's appearance his presence they become very like calm and they become uh, they enjoying their meal at a very late night and muktan swami also accepted some uh, some rotlo and some food but in very little amount then after drinking water after uh, washing his hands um muktan swami retired to sleep and the other santos they were also noticing muktan swami's virtues because in reality they have uh, hung they, they became very hungry not muktan swami and that is why muktan swami ate very little and he retired from the kitchen and the other santos they were eating so they got the point like muktan swami didn't have any hunger or thirst but he ate and drink only to please us otherwise we become very like same fool or we become fearful like what will happen that's the rules of Ma- uh, maharaj not to eat again so in this way muktanan swami is understanding his like quality of virtues uh, his quality of uh, understanding the other situation that's the important point for the leader and muktanan swami is such a leader who can understand the others problem or their situation and he even himself came down from his position that's the main point otherwise one who is extremely great cannot see the someone who is at a bottom level but muktanan swami has a such a vision that he can understand everyone's heart and he himself live in such a way that no one would get hurt from within this is muktanand swami saintliness in another incident once muktanand swami atmanand swami and many other santos they were traveling far from the gujarat they were reached to rajasthan and by reaching there as there were not any particular village came to their uh, way where they can found any grains or food so uh, santo become very hungry and they have to perform 3 days fast without eating anything so after the fourth day they enter in particular village there a brahmin he saw this pious santos and merely by watching merely by doing darshan of the santos he understood like this is very great santos so he desired to feed all these santos and he said uh, i am a brahmin and so i desire to give food to all of the, the all of you santo so please show your mercy upon me and please accept my f- food at the time maharaj gave agnya to all the santos like everyone can eat uh, prepare uh, eat whatever food prepared by a pious brahmin and santo also understood like this is a very pious brahmin and so they can eat their food eat his food so muktanand swami and all the other santos they said to brahmin like uh, we are many santos so you should do one thing only make a khichdi not anything else and the brahmin by understanding uh, the other santos 
glory he prepared a khichdi and muktanand swami uh, as a senior uh, he instructed him not to add ghee because of sriji maharaj agnya that was also sriji maharaj command not to eat uh, like oil or ghee or anything sweet so that was the rules so muktanand swami instructed brahmins we have rules not to eat ghee so don't add any amount of ghee in in a khichdi but the brahmin had prepared and when he served thar to bhagwan at that time he added some amount of ghee in a khichdi to offer sri uh, offer the thar so and without any knowing like after uh, Ma- uh bhagwan has ate that and when he came back with the thar so he added that thar prasad uh, khichdi into the whole um, like whatever he had prepared in a big vessel the in big utensil he had prepared khichdi for santo he had added that prasad khichdi and so all the khichdi uh become with uh added with the ghee so now he had not added too much amount of ghee inside the big pot of khichdi he had only used one two spoon which you he had used for the thar but when all the santo sat down for taking prasad and the brahmin he was serving then atmanand swami got a smell of a ghee inside the khichdi so he said don't eat santo he had added ghee in, inside the khichdi so don't eat that's maharaj agnya not to eat what you mix with the ghee so santo even though they had three days fast they stopped but when muktanand swami got this situation then muktanand swami instructed santo without any fear without any doubt you can eat this prasad and if anything happen then uh if maharaj says anything then i will be there uh whatever punishment you will receive from maharaj then i'll uh, myself uh follow the uh, follow maharaj instruction for the punishment but you will not get the permis- punishment from maharaj so trust me and you can eat this prasad and along with those santos muktanand swami himself also ate why because muktanand swami understood the situation like if we will not eat this prasad of khichdi then the brahmin he was not a devotee of maharaj but he is very pious and if we ate this prasad and he had uh, like he, uh, then we will talk to him like greatness of maharaj and our rules and everything about so he will become a devotee of maharaj but if we will not eat then uh, he uh, he had to garbage this much amount of khichdi and because of that he would become Uh, he will not be complete and because of that he will not become a devotee that's the chance so on the other hand the santo they had the three days fast and there will be no any particular guarantee to get food on the next day so that was the only chance for a santo to get food so it is uh, definitely good for all like santos as well as the brahmins so understanding this as well as muktanand swami also understood sri ji maharaj's nature his purpose behind giving this agnya not to eat ghee not to eat sweet so by considering all this situation muktanand swami instructed santo to eat that when both of santos the, the group of santos they arrived garda then at the time atman swami reel this incident to maharaj and in the sabha maharaj himself said muktanand swami is like mother of the satsang he knew about the technique how to handle the case he knew how to keep someone in a satsang he knew how to give facility how to follow the rules to please bhagwan he knew everything about this and that is why he fed the santo that's his nature of mother 
and because of that he on the other hand he also uh wanted to keep that brahmin as a devotee and because of that he took this decision and his decision is very very perfect and precise at that time so maharaj even become very happy with muktanand swami and he embraced himself to muktanand swami and uh in a sabha he announced muktanand swami is satsang ni ma the mother of all so in this way muktanand swami's life is full of virtues and if we imbibe some of his divine qualities in our life then maharaj puja guru ji all the other senior santos and the devotees they would become extremely pleased upon us so today uh there were like thousands of incident from muktanand swami's life as i have said earlier like his life is like an ocean no one can measure it how deep it is how wide it is how uh like how much things inside the ocean so in this way like no one can measure the ocean in any way in the same way we cannot um measure muktanand swami's saintliness we cannot scale it because of his very very death of his saintliness his sadhuta once a sadhu who was a disciple of muktanand swami and that sadhu came uh and those days at the time that uh, that was the days uh, of like rainy season and because of that uh santo had to walk one place to another and because of that there uh they didn't have shoes or something and because of more outside they have uh they have to wash their feet every time they enter to the house a sadhu he went outside for any particular reason and when he came back then without washing his feet he himself sat on a carpet so muktanand swami saw this like if such kind of, such, uh, such kind of behavior happened to the santo then uh, hari bhaktos they have to pay more for the carpet cleaning and something like that so they have to do hard work for that so muktan sami in a very humble tone because he never become angry upon anyone that was his nature that was his natural saintliness just as puja guru ji many times said i never uh saw the kind uh, any kind of anger on puja dada guru ji's face in the same way muktanand swami's nature was like that like he never become angry upon any person so muktanand swami become very humble and he very humbly said to that saint should i uh brought a one plate and a, a cup of water to wash your feet so that sadhu like as muktanand swami told him these words in the presence of the other santo so he would become like extremely angry upon muktanand swami but in the presence of the other santo he didn't say any single word but he decided to kill muktanand swami so at night time uh he woke up when everyone sl- got sleep then at midnight he woke up and because he had decided to kill muktanand swami so he came near to muktanand swami he muk- uh, he woke up muktanand swami as well and he said uh, please come outside with me i wanted to go uh, outside meaning i i want to go for bathroom so muktanand swami said you can go yourself because it is late night and you can go near not too far but he said no i want your help please come with me then muktanand swami he like he, he has a power like that of maharaj and because of that with his omniscient power 
he understood what were ill intention of that sadhu so muktanand so he got up from his bed he came outside so that no one can listen their uh no one can listen their talks so muktanand so he came outside with that sadhu and muktanand so he like he was giving like mm, he had no kind of animity for anyone and because of that muktanand swami say to that sadhu sadhuram i become very old now because of my old age one day i have to die today or tomorrow but when you right i will die then maharaj will come for me and i will go to akshardham but if you will not uh, change your nature such kind of nature then you will not survive in this satsang in this way muktanand swami with his like motherly affection he talked with that sadhu for long period of time and because of that that sadhu fell down to the feet of muktanand swami and he said swami if you will not have talked today this way then i'll kill you i'll make a grave mistake in my life please forgive me then muktanand swami said don't worry nothing will happen nothing was happen forget everything and don't say anything regarding this incident even muktanand swami himself said to that sadhu so that was muktanand swami is like rare of the rare saintliness even today such kind of saintliness we can easily find in puja guruji's life the same incidents we can find in puja guruji's in a life even though someone tried to kill him or someone tried to uh insult him many of the devotees and many of saints they have tried many times to insult puja guruji but still without any like animity or without having any difference in between the his disciple and the others such bad people he treated everyone equally he even treated everyone like the disciple of sri ji maharaj that is his true greatness his true saintliness because he had acquired the all of qualities of muktanand swami's life and because of that we can say we have attained muktanand swami today in the form of puja guruji so now by listening this some of incident from muktanand swami's life we pray to muktanand swami we pray to muktanand swami's another form in the form of puja guruji like please source your mercy upon us we are very useless we are very uh, careless soul on this earth but you are the ocean of mercy you are like the mother so please give your saintliness grant your virtues in our life so that we can also become like you we will not become so but we will acquire your virtues and saintliness and because of that we want to make sri ji maharaj you and the other santo and devotees please so please we have no any capacity to acquire your divine virtues you are like the ocean but please give us even very little amount so that our life become virtues by praying this to the muktanand swami and puja guruji we just remember muktanand swami incident and his saintliness and while remembering 
माय हंबल जय स्वामीनारायण श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय श्रीपतिम श्रीधरम सर्वेश्वर भक्तिधर मात्मज वासुदेव हरे माधव केशव कामदम कारण स्वामीनारायण नीलकंठम भजे श्री घनश्याम महाराज